Hello, this is Christina from Catalyst IT in Wellington, New Zealand, and I'm going to give you a short demonstration of the latest version of Mahara Droid, which is currently in beta. It is version 1.7b3, and I'm demoing this beta version to you because it has a very fantastic new feature, namely that you can save artifacts for upload at a later point in time. So you can decide whether you want to upload something just in a free Wi-Fi zone or whether you want to use your mobile data. You can get the beta version on the project's homepage because it is not yet available via the Android Marketplace. Once you have downloaded the version and installed it on your Android phone, you need to um, set it up correctly so that it can actually communicate with your Mahara 1.4 um, web version. You definitely need a Mahara 1.4 for it to work. The first thing you set up is the upload URI. Um, it is already pre-filled with the master dev development version of Mahara, which you can use for testing this feature. After we have released Mahara 1.4, um, still in May 2011, you can then also tr trial it on the demo version once we have updated that one to the latest 1.4 code. Um, but you can also install your own 1.4 version and then just need to change the um, base URL up to the top level domain, exchange that for your base URL and leave the rest the same. Next you need to put in the username for your Mahara installation and in order to make the authentication secure, also a token. In this um, Android version, we are still not working with um, the authentication credentials from uh, the regular Mahara in installation, but in the future, we hope to have a mobile app API working so that you can use these credentials. And then that's also going to be made easier for other application developers. Next, you can choose your connection type. That is something new in Mahara Droid 1.7b3 because there you decide how you want to connect uh, when uploading artifacts. And there you decide whether you want to use it only in Wi-Fi zone or um, with your mobile data. I choose Wi-Fi only. Click on um, then save these settings and the last two bits I can set up is an upload folder where I want to have my um, files saved and I can also provide artifact tags that I want to have added automatically to uh, any file that I upload. Once I have made these settings I can um, now start taking pictures, taking videos, uh, also uploading other files. So Mahara Droid is not limited to just images. So, but in this case, I'm going to take a quick photo. Take a new one. And then because I want to demonstrate the um, upload for later, make sure that I save this image. So as um, already in the older versions of Mahara Droid, uh, all I need to do is then click on share and I get presented with the Mahara Droid icon in the list of items that I can share. Now I can uh, give it also a different name. Provide a description I should be able to type and also give it a tag so that I can easily find it again later on. And there you see that I have now have the option to either upload my files directly or to save it for later upload. I click on save and can go back to my Mahara Droid installation and now I see this item under saved artifacts. Before I can now upload it to my Mahara installation, I need to make sure that I have the token also set in my settings um, as mobile upload token. 
This should be the same token that I had entered in Mahara draw it earlier on. This token can be a very easy one because it will be changed automatically for each new upload so that nobody can misuse it. Once I've made these settings on my Mahara installation, I can go back to Mahara Droid and start the upload of my artifacts by clicking on the Upload All icon. So now just a few seconds until my file is being um, uploaded and I can go back to Mahara, click on the Content tab and then the Files tab. And I see that my folder mobile tests has been created. And there's also the image file that I just created on my mobile phone. Now I can use that for inclusion in any of my portfolio pages. I can also download it from there, can further edit it by changing the name when I see that I actually misspelled something, change the description, add more tags or take more away and um, save these changes. That was a very short demo of Mahara Droid. If you want to download it, please go to the um, application's homepage and get the 1.7b3 version.